This is lesson three, why does Bitcoin have value? In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at some of the economic fundamentals of why the Bitcoin unit of account holds value. Let's begin. In a nutshell, Bitcoin is valuable because it is both useful and scarce. Bitcoin is scarce by design in that the currency is capped at 21 million units. There will never be more than 21 million units of Bitcoin in circulation. And we know this to be true based on the source code of the technology. Bitcoin is useful because it allows us to do things with money we've never previously been able to do. Bitcoin represents a sort of programmable money and it operates on a digital economy which has no physical borders and therefore represents perfect portability, perfect divisibility among many other interesting functions that come with this form of money. The blockchain network Bitcoin is built upon as well allows us to upload digital files and information which can be stored in this network and verified cryptographically without the requirement of trust. The blockchain represents a sort of ledger technology that's accessible to anyone, anywhere, while simultaneously being owned by no one. Truly, the Bitcoin protocol is incredibly useful and we're just beginning to scratch the surface of some of its very interesting uses. What does Bitcoin allow us to do? Essentially, you can send money anywhere, anytime, to anyone, and then there's essentially no limits on the movement of money. When you use Bitcoin, you are in full control of your economic livelihood, and the Bitcoin protocol and technology allows you to act like your own bank account. You can send this money with as little as you like in terms of fees, or you can also attach fees, which will ensure that your transaction is taken care of first in the queue of mining blocks. You can also send money potentially anonymously, although it's worthy to be mentioned that almost no one sends money anonymously with Bitcoin today. And as we mentioned previously, the blockchain allows us to verify information of all kinds with the proof of work algorithm from proof of ownership, proof of existence, proof of publishment, and many, many more very interesting use cases that are beginning to emerge. One of the economic fundamentals of Bitcoin is that it allows its users to gain a sort of independence from traditional national economies. And one example of this is in early 2013, in March 2013, the citizens of Cyprus had as much as 70% of their financial livelihood and their savings confiscated by government mandated authorities because their banking system was going under. And during this time, a lot of these citizens, as well as speculators around the world, essentially drove up the price of Bitcoin because they saw it as a safe haven for some of their purchasing power. And if you look at the chart on the far right end is the run up that we've seen in US dollars during this time. And this actually only shows a fraction of the run up because the price went from 20 all the way up to 266 US dollars during this bank run on the citizens of Cyprus. After that, there was a uh, price correction, but it goes to show that Bitcoin, because it is separate and independent from the national economy, represents a sort of safe haven for financial turbulence. And something we'll look in later is how this safe haven is actually anti-fragile or benefits from the disorder of national economies. That's it for this lesson today. There's no lab, but we will see you in the next lesson.